Hello and welcome to the Lost Library and a new episode from Shadowrun Dragonfall Director's Cut. Well, as it turns out, we are not finished with this Scorpion. We thought we finished this Scorpion off in the last one and that was not the case. This thing is still very, very much alive. And we are in a bad position because we moved everybody into the room and you can see how close we are now to the sting of the Scorpion. We have Lost here right beside the Scorpion. We have Iger beside the Scorpion and no one has any action points left except for Glory. Glory has two action points and with those two action points we are going to hope that she can save the day because if not... The Scorpion's going to have a free shot at, Scorp at Lost, and you can see Lost is already quite injured. So this is not looking good. We're going to see what we can do. We're going to try and get ourselves out of this, this uh, predicament, and then get back to the case at hand, or the mission at hand, which is finding this Green Winters. Green Winters is somewhere in the hotel. But we have not found him yet, and we're going to be looking for him here. So first, we have to clear through this scorpion. Let's see. Let's go. Glory is going to go in for the attack, and she's going to go in for the attack with her hand razors. And she does only three damage, unfortunately, but the scorpion is blind, is bleeding now every round. Glory has one action point left, and she's going to take it. And the Scorpion, you can see, is lining up to face Scorp uh, to face Glory. Here comes Glory. Oh, and she hits it this time for 10 damage. But the Scorpion goes back after Lost. And Lost is real, in real serious trouble here. He has one spell left, and he's going to take it. It's that Flamethrower, which is damage of 12. Let's see what kind of damage Lost can do to the Scorpion. He's going to cast the Flamethrower. And he does for 8 damage. Lost should probably move out of harm's way here, but there isn't anywhere for him to move. Oh yes, he can. He can move right here. So Lost is going to move out of harm's way. He just does not have the... the uh, okay, we have Dietrich here. And Dietrich is lined up for a straight shot on the Scorpion with his throwing knife. And his throwing knife will give him 41%. Let's do it. We have t two throws. Let's do it. Because we don't have haste. Oh, you know what? He could also cast haste. And he's going to cast haste instead on Glory. So Glory now has three action points. And Iger should be able to finish it off with her Ruger 100 right here. 22%. That's not very good. What about here? That's better. Much better. So the Benili Raffaello. This is a shotgun. And she's going to blow this scorpion to smithereens. And that's exactly what she does. The battle is over. The scorpion is dead. Okay, so we made it out of here. Now Lost, I'm a little concerned with Lost and your health, though. We've got to take a look at that. He has only 36 of 55. Okay, can we give you something here? Not sure how that works, if we can or not. You don't have anything in the way of any kind of med kit, which is really not good. Should have picked up a med kit when you were back on the streets, up in the streets of uh, Berlin. That was a mistake. And somehow, I don't know why, but you're missing your, I think it's called your power bolt. That's very strange that you don't have your power bolt with you. And that could become quite dangerous as we continue through looking for green winters in this hotel. Let's continue. Is there anything in this room? Anything that we can use? Any kind, anything to help us? It doesn't really look like it. That's the fridge, but it was a little late. We should have probably threw the piece of meat that was in that fridge to the scorpion. Well, we cleared out all this, pretty much this level. This is the third level. We have everything. And what's our objective here? Our objective is to return Silk's belongings. Should we do that or should we go after Green Winters first? Almost thinking we should continue with, uh, with Green Winters. We really don't want to return Silk's belongings just yet. 
It's not really going to help her, is it? Because she's going to be going to crone for more of that cram. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next level. We're going to check all the levels of the hotel here. So we're on level three. Why don't we check the first floor? So we're on the first floor of the hotel. Looks like this door is open, so why don't we check that out first? Okay. These rooms don't look to be the most... Accommodating of rooms, do they? I mean, look at this. Garbage in the corner here. There's a personal terminal here, but that's probably going to require decking skills, and we do not have a decker. We'll check it out, though. Oh, we have a bedside table here. What's this? Is there a note on there? Ah, uh, no. We picked up 219 new yen. Uh, should we be stealing that? I don't think we have a choice, do we? We need it. We only have 25 new yen. We're not sure who's staying in this hotel anyway. Okay, let's check out this personal terminal. Just as we're here, we may as well. Uh, it says access the safe. I don't think we're going to have any luck here. No, we need decking too, and nobody nobody has decking two levels. So let's let's move on. We will walk away. Nothing here. What do we have here? Ah, what's this? A crumbling wall. This section of wall seems to be buckling under its own weight. The aging wallpaper that lines the rest of the hallway has long since peeled away, revealing the structure of the wall underneath. While the underlying structure is reinforced with steel support struts, you can see signs of rust and metal fatigue everywhere. The entire wall looks like it could give way if enough force were applied. Shoulder check the wall. Yeah, that'll get us into that that room that's locked. Let's do it. You slam into the wall and it gives way with a crunch. Good job, Lost. Let's walk in there. What do we have in here? You can see it's a locked room. Is that another personal terminal? Won't help us if it is. I don't know what this is. Is that a lab? Maybe that's a lab. That's not a terminal. That looks like some sort of chemical lab. We have a bedside table. Is there a note on there? Searching through the clutter on the desk, you find a small, sin leather bound journal. Leafing through the pages of the book reveals only a couple of entries. Each of them is scrawled in frantic, barely legible handwriting, with crude doodles filling up the margins. Let's read the first entry. Okay, okay. I know Eddie's up to something. Like... I heard him today talking to that guy who works in the kitchen, asking him where the cleaning supplies was at. I've seen Eddie's room. The dude never cleaned a day in his life. I'm going to follow him tomorrow and figure out what his deal is. Maybe he's just selling mouthwash to the hobos a block down at the old bus depot. <laughs> Let's read the second entry. I knew it. Friggin' Eddie, I saw him. Yesterday I was up on the third floor because the vending machine down here was out of soy calf. So he came up and went over to the out of order latrine. He punched in the code. Didn't know I was watching, did you, Eddie? Well, I ain't so stupid. He put in 2478 and I'm going to stay up and find out what he's doing in there. Okay, so we have a code on the third floor. We're on the first floor right now. Well, we're on the first floor. We may as well check out this room here. It looks like this is what? This is the other the latrine to the first floor. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything in here. No. Okay. How about down here? Do we have any open doors? No, but we have something here. Open door. This is that suite again. Let's check it out. Filthy suite, but it is a suite. Yeah, it's a mess, isn't it? Okay, pick up. There's something here by the bedside. A Bumona trauma kit. That'll come in handy. We'll definitely take that. Heal our companions if we have to. A 
trauma kit will basically help our companions if they actually get knocked out, knocked out of the fight. We can bring them back. It's almost like a rallying cry. Let's get, uh, let's get out of this. Let's get off of this floor here. And let's go and check out the third floor, back to the third floor. And let's go look at that, uh, enter that passcode into the washroom. See what we find. Okay, so the washroom's down here. Let's check that out. What was that passcode again? It was 2478, wasn't it? I think so. Yes, it is. Okay. So we're in. So what is Eddie up to? Oh, there's something here. Pick up. Oh, a jazz item. Jazz is, we will definitely grab that jazz. Here's what jazz does. We like it. We like jazz. It's a combat stimulant, stimulant that increases quickness plus two, but more importantly, action points plus one for five rounds. This is good. We'll grab that. Sorry, Eddie. We need it. Okay, we went down there already. Okay, so we've now pretty much explored the first and third floor. So we only have the fourth floor of the penthouse and the second floor. I think we're going to hold off on the second floor for now. Let's go to the fourth floor. Come on, Green Winters. Is this your floor? I doubt if you're on the penthouse. What's this keypad? Uh, we don't have a code for that, do we? No, we don't. Okay, but let's remember that. So we have 401, room 401. This could be Green Winter's room right here. This is all locked. And remember, Green Winter's just hasn't left the hotel. So he's still here. He's in the building. We're going to find him. Here's the latrine. It looks like there's nothing in here. Let's get out of here. Okay, this is the fourth floor. Let's check out here. Anything here? No, these rooms are all locked, but what do we have here? Nothing. Okay, so that's the fourth floor. We now have the penthouse. But I'm thinking this is Green Winter's room right here. I don't think he'd be staying in the penthouse. Let's go to the... Back to the third floor or the penthouse. If we go to the third floor, we can bust through that those floorboards in that suite and then drop down into the second suite uh, the second floor or we could go up to the penthouse why don't we go up to the penthouse first okay so we're on the penthouse floor here are we gonna get in any of these rooms or they're all gonna be locked So we got into that latrine already. Let's check this one out. Anything in here? Not really. Except for a little fancier, fancier washroom for the penthouse suite, or the penthouse floor. What about down here? Look at this. Looks like somebody was setting up for a fight here. A absolutely. There's going to be a fight here. Inspect. What is this? The security panel shows that this door is double mag locked. It'd be easier to tunnel in through the wall than it would be to break through this thing. Okay, so we're not getting through there. Okay, still though, I'm thinking Green Winters is on the fourth floor. If he's not on the fourth floor, somebody in that room is gonna lead us to Green Winters, who then would have to be in the, on this floor, the penthouse. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back down to the third floor and why we're going to go down to the third floor is we're going to come back down to the suite here. And we're going to bust through these floorboards and drop down into the second floor. Remember? This area right here. Destroyed floor. Let's do it. Smash the boards and jump down. Hopefully we don't get injured. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, what do we have? 
What are we in here? What is this? It's like a kitchen of some sort. Frightened man. Please don't hurt me. I'm just a, a line cook. The cook's darting eyes are wide open, and behind them you see pure animal terror. If you let me go, I won't tell anyone. I promise. What are you so afraid of? Wait, you're not with those guys out there? I, um, well, I just thought. You thought what? I thought you were one of them. You know, the gangers that took over and shot up the place. I work, he catches himself. That is to say, worked. I worked for the previous owners. When the shooting started, I shut myself in here. They, whoever they are, haven't figured out how to override my keys yet. It's been a day and a half. I don't know how much longer I can stay in here. Tell me anything you can about this place. Okay. Oh, room code 401. Okay. Um, um, I think there's some sort of a chop shop up in room 401. Like low-level street dock stuff? I had to deliver room service there one day when we were short-staffed. What I saw when they opened the door scared the dreck out of me. People hooked up to tubes and stuff. The door code was 5870, if you want to take a look. Uh, who's the stiff by the sink? That's the head chef, Felix. He took a hit to the chest when they raided this floor. I thought I could stop the bleeding. But, uh, um, the cook lowers his gaze to the floor at his feet. I couldn't. Intelligence, you're next to a walk-in fridge. Don't you think it'd make more sense to drag the body in there than to leave it under the sink? Oh, um, yeah, that probably... He glances over at the body again and swallows hard. That'd probably be a good idea. He's already starting to smell. Hey, I need to get moving. Wait! You'll help me out of here, won't you? I mean, you're not just going to leave me to die here, are you? Look, there's still gangers out there. You'd be safer in here. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. I'll just stay in here then. The line cook steals a glance at the dead chef lying crumpled by the sink uh, w with him. Okay, let's see here. What do we have? Let's check this room out. Is there anything in here? There has to be something in here for us. Oh, there's nothing in here at all. Lost is looking desperately for items but is not having much success. Been through how many floors on this hotel and hasn't found a lot. But thanks to this guy, he did receive a passcode for 401. Should we go there right away? I think that's where we should head, 401. We're going to run into probably a bunch of BTL junkies, though. Better than life junkies. Crammers. Let's unlock the door. Okay, open it. Oh, well, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. We're right in the line of fire once again. Okay, lost. You got to get out of there, and you have two action points. Okay, with those two action points. Okay. What are we dealing with here? We have one, we have a goon boss, and we have a goon. Okay, so it's very unlikely that there's only going to be one goon with a goon boss. So we have to be very careful here. Why don't we draw them out to us? Can we do that? Where's some cover here? There's absolutely no cover. Okay, we'll move out of here first. 
Loss, you can try one of your spells, but I'm not sure what kind of percentage you're gonna. Yeah, you're not even gonna have. You're gonna have nothing at all. 52%'s not bad. We have 68% on this goon. Why don't you take it on this goon? 68%, and then move out of there. You hit him for eight damage with your mana bolt, and Lost is gonna move out. Move out of range, or move out of sight. Okay. Now we have Dietrich. Dietrich. Let's see. No, we're gonna keep you. You know what? Glory, or sorry, Iger. I want you to move in here, take your best shot, and then I want you to move back out and take cover. Okay, now you've got that shotgun. Yeah, 25%, but you should have better range with this rifle. Yeah, you have 36 and 44. I want you to take it, but I want you to aim. I want you to aim on this goon right here. 59%. That's great. 16 damage. Now, Iger, get out of there. I want you to take cover. Oh, why? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. We did not want to do that. Okay, that's okay. Dietrich, I want you to cast your Dragon Slayer on Iger right now. Did you just do that? Cast it. Okay, good. So the Dragon Slayer is going to basically reduce any kind of damage coming in along this... Uh, along this circle anyone inside this circle right here glory you have two action points left with those two action points you're going to heal lost right now i want you to go over here that's better okay and you still have so the only one they can see oh is look at that only four damage oh here's another goon look at that see no, there's another one. Five damage. So Iger's already taken nine damage. That's one, two, three. There's already four of them in here. Okay, okay, okay. Iger, you've got two left. So I want you to take that rifle and I want you to shoot. Why do you have only 40%, 44%? You have 53 on this guy though. 36, you have 32 here. What about your shotgun on this guy? 48 no, I think you have this one here. 53 is the best shot. Why don't you take it on this goon boss and then move out of there? How many shots is that? That's only one action point. Okay, take it. Oh, you missed. Okay, now Iger, I want you to move out of there. Right here. Okay. Dietrich. How about if you cast haste? On Lost. Okay, Lost, you have two action points. So with those two action points, you're going to move up. You're going to take your best shot right up here. One action point. Now with that action point, you're going to take your flamethrower and you're going to cast that flamethrower. Boy, it's not very good, is it? It's not very good. 54% is not great. 39 is worse. Okay, I guess you're going to go on this goon enforcer right here with 54%. Cast that flamethrower. You know, you missed. You have one action point left, so move out of there. Glory, I'm not sure. What can we get you? You have the pistol, you have the savalette, and you have two action points, so we're going to get you to do the same thing here, Glory. Going to get you to move here with one action point. And you should have a fairly decent shot from there. It's 37, it's not great, but if you aim, it goes up to 52, and that's what you're going to do. And you still have one action point left. Okay, seven damage. That's good. Hey, Glory. 
Why did she not? I thought you had two action points. What the hell happened there? Glory's taking serious damage. It's all on Glory. Oh, she's, yeah, she's in bad, bad shape here. Glory needs to move out. Right here. Glory, you need to move out and fast. So I want you moving here. One action point. That's it. And now you're going to take that med kit. And you're going to take a advanced med kit. Okay, good. Lost, you still have three action points left. So with those three action points, you're going to move up. No, you're going to move right in the middle here. Okay, you have a flamethrower and you're going to use it. 48%. Oh, that's good. That's explosives right there. Why don't you try that? Let's see what happens. Nothing. And you only have one action point left. Okay, move out. Okay, Iger, you have two action points left. So what you're going to do is you are going to move in right here with one. Dietrich, how many, what do you have? Can you cast haste? No, not until two turns. Okay, you're gonna, you can certainly cast aim though, and you'll do that with Iger. Okay, now Iger, make it count. Right here, one. Okay, take your shot. 64%, 45, 60, 50, 58, 63. Why don't you take this one out here, 58, with your rifle. Let's see you do that. You can do it. Oh, you missed. Iger, you missed. You weren't supposed to miss. Dietrich, okay. You have one action point left. Cast it on Iger. Heal Iger. Why can't you? Heals all the damage from the previous round. Okay. No, it won't work. Okay. What do you have? You could cast... No, you're not going to summon your elementals. Not yet. I don't think you can see anyone from where you are, so you're just going to end the turn. So we're going to end right here. I'm going to let them come. They're going to come after Iger. Oh, they're going to come after Iger in a big way. We might have to use that Tremonic kit. Oh, Iger took minus one action point. And she just got hit for one damage. Oh, here comes another grenade for Iger. Oh, no, minus one action point. So she's out of it. She's totally out of it. Iger's out of it. Oh, and seven damage. Okay. Glory, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go and heal Iger. You have two action points, though. So with those two action points, why don't you take your grenade and do the same thing? Or, Dietrich, do you have a grenade? No, but Lost has a grenade. Why don't you take that grenade? You have three action points. Okay, so Lost, what you're going to do is you're going to move up here with one. This time you're going to throw your grenade. Oh no, you can't. That's two action points, so you can't do that. Oh, well, okay, so you know what? Take that, cast that flamethrower and cast it on this uh, goon enforcer right here. Take him out. And then you have one action point left to move out of there. Okay, you did not take him out. So you have to move back, take cover. Dietrich, you have, for spells, no, you don't have the haste. You have Dragon Slayer Tool, though. You could cast that on Iger.
you could cast it on Iger and reduce the amount of damage she's going to take because she's going to take a lot of damage here. She cannot move. She's basically been put to sleep by that uh, by those grenades. Dietrich, you have a huge decision to make. What are you going to do? Well, we're not going to find out in this episode, though, because we are at that time. We're at that 30-minute mark, but this battle is heating up. I'm not sure if we're going to make it out of this one alive. Look at how many goons we're dealing with here. We're dealing with one, two, three, four, five goons, and it looks like one and two. We have two goon bosses that we have to take, to take down. I don't know, and we still haven't found Green Winters. This is only our second mission, second mission so far in Shadowrun Dragonfall. What a game. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. If you are, please give us a like. If you're not subscribing, please do so as it helps our channel, and it's just a lot more fun to have you along with us. Thank you very much for watching, and we will be back soon.